In this video, I will share with you some of the key technical details associated with Abacus Technology Brief on Coupled Electromagnetic and Fluid Structure Interaction Analysis of a Solenoid Valve. Solenoid valves are electromechanical devices for controlling the flow of liquids and gases. Actuation of solenoid valves is controlled by electric current, which energizes a magnetic circuit that applies force to a moving plunger necessary to allow a restrict flow. Valve of this type are multi-physics systems with electromagnetic fluid and structural domains that couple in a complex manner. Some of the key highlights of this technology brief are a combined sequential and fully coupled solution methodology to arrive at multi-physics solution in an efficient manner. A methodology that leverages electromagnetic and fluid structure interaction analysis capabilities in Abacus. That includes electromagnetics in Abacus standard, rigid body dynamics in Abacus standard, and computational fluid dynamics in Abacus CFD. The technology brief also demonstrates a seamless integration between the applicable analysis techniques allowing for simulation of the complex multi-physics interactions. Let us now talk about key technical aspects that made this multi-physics simulation possible. In particular, I will discuss three important aspects. The solution methodology, applying electromagnetic force through user subroutine U-AMP, and boundary layer meshing capability in Abacus CAE. Let us now talk about the solution methodology. In the first step, electromagnetic analysis is performed in Abacus standard for different plunger positions. This results in a tabular description of electromagnetic force says as a function of electric current and plunger location. In the second step, a fluid structure interaction analysis is performed. In fluid structure interaction analysis, a co-simulation between a structural and fluid domain is performed. The fluid domain is modeled in Abacus CFD. The analysis models the incompressible fluid flow through the valve. The structural domain is modeled in Abacus standard. This analysis models the rigid body dynamics of the plunger. The electromagnetic force experienced by the plunger is applied through a point load. The point load has an user-defined amplitude associated with it. The user-defined amplitude necessitates the specification of user subroutine U-AMP where the interpolation of force is performed using the tabular results from step 1 of the workflow. I will now demonstrate how the electromagnetic force is applied to the plunger in Abacus standard. I will create a user-defined point load to represent the electromagnetic force. This will also require creating a user subroutine UAMP where electromagnetic force is calculated through a bilinear interpolation of the force calculated during the first step of this solution workflow. I will now create a sensor output for displacement history output. An important part of a CFD analysis is to resolve the boundary layer effect using a mesh that is finer near no slip walls but progressively gets coarser away from these walls to provide an efficient solution. I will now demonstrate how to create a boundary layer mesh in Abacus CAE. This process starts by specifying the global seat size for the entire mesh. I will specify a global seed size of 0 
for the entire mesh. I will now set up the boundary layer controls for the boundary layer mesh. I will choose to use the non-default algorithm. I will toggle on insert boundary layer to create boundary layers. I will now assign controls for my boundary layer. I will set up an initial element height of 1e minus 4 for the first element thickness in the boundary layer. I will specify a growth factor of 1.05 for my boundary layers. I will specify a total of three boundary layers to be created. Note that the total boundary layer thickness is automatically populated. I will now toggle on inactive faces to choose faces where the boundary layer will not be created. These faces will be the inlet and the outlet faces where the fluid will go in and come out of the solution domain. I will also toggle on create set in order to create a set that will contain the newly created boundary layers. Now that boundary layer mesh controls are all set up, I will go ahead and create the mesh for the entire domain. The boundary layer mesh has been created. Let us now go and visualize the mesh that has been created. As you can see, three layers of boundary layer elements have been created near the no-slip walls. You can see that the boundary layer elements are wedge-shaped, while the elements in the core of the flow are tetrahedral. Let us now look at the results from the multiphysics simulation. The animation shows the streamlines and the motion of the plunger. As the current is ramped up, electromagnetic force on the plunger pushes it upwards, thus opening the valve and establishing the flow. The electric circuit has a time constant of 10 milliseconds. When the current reaches its saturation value of 1 ampere, the valve reaches a steady state operating condition. The simulation reveals that in the steady state operating condition, the valve experiences a periodic vibration about a mean open position. These vibrations are caused by periodic vortex generation in the fluid due to the coupled dynamics. Finally, let us look at the contoured plot of flow variables such as pressure, velocity and turbulent viscosity in the steady periodic operating condition. For more details, Regarding this simulation, please refer to the associated technology brief.